Hi, I'm Christy Frank from season number one of Donald Trump's The Apprentice, and welcome to The Success Show. Today I'm here with my good friend, Abby Kohut, and she runs a site called AbsolutelyAbby.com. So Abby, before we get into what you do now, let's hear a little about your history and your background and how you came to start Absolute Abby. Well, I started Absolutely Abby because I've been a recruiter in the human resources world for approximately 15 years. Wow. And I've been helping job seekers. And what happens is I got really frustrated about the fact that I couldn't tell them why they weren't getting jobs. Wow. So they would send in resumes and there'd be typos on the resumes. And all I'd want to do is jump across the, the table and during interviews and shake them and say, don't say that. Please don't say that. And that's not your job. Your job no, was to I'm pick the right, to. right, right. Cause I work for the company now for the job seeker. Right. So I held on to these secrets for 15 years and I just, I just needed to get them out. So I started absolutely Abby and then wrote a couple books and that's what I've been doing. Well, so it's, it's so unique because you had the perspective of seeing all these people come in and do the wrong things to get the jobs yes. all the time. I still do that. I'm still an HR consultant and mm -hmm. I still constantly. And so I sort of took on this persona and I'm able to help them in many ways. Wow. And I do a lot of speaking as well. Wow. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to get into that because you've had some <laughs> wonderful things happen lately, but let's talk about, um, two things. Um, Number one, how important it is now to, especially with the economy the way it is and pretty much there's so much unemployment going around. Yes. Um, what advice would you give someone about found, finding a job and, and what can you do to help them? Well, the most important thing that you can do right now is to differentiate yourself. Wow. Because the issue is there are so many people out there. And so let's say I run an ad for an administrative assistant. Mm -hmm. I get 500 resumes in two days, Wow! literally. And so you need to come up with ways to do things completely different. So like one idea, for example, is faxing your resume. Oh, most companies, what they'll say to do is to email your resume or wow. to go on their website and send in a resume into the black hole. But if you fax your resume, that's something no one else is doing. So and it's a what, piece of paper yeah. that sits on their desk. Exactly. So that's, that's smart. what people used to do back in mm -hmm. the 80s and the 70s, even, well, maybe not 70s, but a long time ago, right. people were faxing resumes. But now no one's faxing resumes. So if you do it, you stand out from the crowd. It's such a simple thing. So my book and everything I talk about with job seekers is about doing things the complete opposite way that everyone else is doing it. I love that. And, uh, I think that's one-on-one -on -one marketing. So you're oh, yeah. really talking about marketing yourself completely. And most people don't grow up as marketers. No. Most people have no idea how to market themselves unless they're in business and then they might know, but job seekers have no idea unless they're marketing job, you know, people that have marketing backgrounds or sales backgrounds. Okay. So, uh, let's say I'm a single mom. I have kids at home. I'm frustrated. I've been on so many interviews. Um, what is the best way to work with you? I, I mean, you have an amazing book, but do you do one-on-one -on -one coaching? What's I don't actually do any one-on-one -on -one coaching, but I do have a couple of websites. The first thing I have is it's called the career wake up call ah. and I do it every two weeks and you sign up for it. And I answer questions from job seekers. Smart. And that's great because you can ask any question about anything possible. And the other thing you can do is go to my new website, Career Cafeteria. Okay. And on there, I have a variety of products that you can look at that will help you in a million different ways. They answer, the products answer questions that you don't even know that you have. I, I think that would be a huge thing. Um, yeah. And also you have Absolute Abby's one-on-one job search secrets, mm -hmm. which I've looked through and is incredible advice. Thank you. Thank you. But that's also, you brought up a good point about you don't know which issues you have. If you're, here's how I can, you can probably say you're having issues if you're going on more than how many interviews and you're not getting the job. Ooh. Well, see, the interesting thing is a few years ago, the numbers were different. Yeah. So right now, if you're going on, let's say, 10 to 15 interviews and you're not getting past the first round, you definitely need some help. Okay. But honestly, if you go on one interview and don't get past the first round, for me, I would be frustrated. So I would want to know exactly what am I doing wrong? And there's nobody that can really tell you that right, right now. Right. So that's why I had to do this. It I'm, just became my mission. And now I'm out to help a million job seekers. That's my mission. 
So that's what I do. That's why we, we connected so passionately because it's so important today to know just even looking through her book a little bit or one tip from Abby as in faxing your resume, how to stand out. If I agree, if you go on 10 interviews and you're not getting the job, that's a huge waste of your time, of, oh, a, wa yeah. a waste of, oh, yeah. of your energy. It's, yeah, plus it's depressing. It's depressing. And it really takes you down. And mm -hmm. so honestly, if you go on one interview and don't get the job, you need to figure out why you didn't get the job. Right. You need to do a self-assessment. And most people think that they do it all perfectly. Yeah. And they don't. And for 15 years, it's been driving me crazy. And so now I can help everybody. And I, I love that. I love that too. And it, it is, it is frustrating. And, um, you've had the other perspective and it can, it doesn't mean that you're not talented. I would no, have to say no. probably some of the most talented people are the ones oh, yes. who don't speak up about their accomplishments yes. and yes. maybe you don't give a good interview, That's it. but the you're the best person. It's just unnatural to, mm -hmm. to be in you You're all nervous on the interview <laughs> and all you have to do is talk about why you're really good. And most people don't like to brag. Exactly. Told for years, don't brag, don't brag, don't brag. You think and, you're going to sound conceited right. or they're not going to. And the yeah. interview is the exact perfect time to brag. To brag. And you have to do it in an organized fashion and you can't ramble and go on and on and on. And so it's, 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 t it's tricky, but you can master it. I actually enjoy interviewing. I, it took me some I, time, but now, yeah, no problem. I'd like I, to go talk about myself. Who doesn't want to do that? I love that. And even <laughs> little mind tricks. As in, um, maybe ask them a few questions and, oh yeah, well, you definitely need to prepare questions because that's mm. one sign that you're actually very interested in the position. If you don't prep those questions and you just sort of look like you're just there. I remember a job. Yeah. Yes. Because they always at the end say anything else you want to know. Yes. And it doesn't look good if you sit there blank and say, right. No, right. Right. <laughs> that's you have huge. to have questions. It, this is something that's going to change your life. This right. new wonderful job. So, yeah. So, um, you've mentioned a couple websites, so let's, let's talk about your resources. Oh, wait, first we have to talk about how important it is to get this message because you've become quite famous recently. Haven't you? Let's, let's hear about some of the interviews you've given. Well, I've been on Good Morning Connecticut several mm -hmm. times now, and I was just invited back to go and do more of a monthly type of segment wow. with them. So I'm very excited about that. Wow. I've been on WKTU radio. I've been on the Valerie Small Dome show on, uh, uh, 777 AM. Good. And, uh, I've had a lot of fun with it all. And I'm, oh, I've been on Bloomberg radio as well. Oh, and Bloomberg radio. That. Yes. A big one. <laughs> yeah. So we were talking about all her press. Can they see, um, clips of those segments on your website? Yeah. On absolutelyabby.com on the left hand side, it says Abby's press. And, uh, you can see all the interviews. Plus I've been quoted on numerous career websites. So it's been a great, wonderful time. Well, it's so important. And she's been getting all this press because she knows what she's doing and she can really help you. And that's why I was so passionate. I love your goal. She's helping a million job seekers get jobs. I'm helping a million job seekers find their way. Wow. A million job yeah. seekers find their way. And you have a couple sites. So yes, I have careerwakeupcalls.com again, where you can go on and get free help from me once every two weeks Wow! and get answers to any questions that you have. And then I have career cafeteria where you can get access to all of my products, services, resources, any questions you could possibly have. And then of course my main site, absolutely Abby. Will you spell that for us? Absolutely Abby is A B S O L U T E L Y.com. So oh, sorry. <laughs> absolute plus Abby. Plus Abby, 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 Abby so some of those people that have misspellings on your resume, that's why we spelled it out for you. A-B-S-O-L-U-T-E-L-Y-A-B-Y.com. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I love your message. All Thank the press you. you've been getting is so well-deserved. And you. if you need help, if you're missing out on getting the job, definitely check out her site. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. And we'll see you again soon.